Welcome to today's video. My name is Josh, aka Reckless Server is done. So please don't ask me what server I play on, it is still done. Two things we gotta get out of the way first before we start this video. Number one is you guys maybe have watched the last video. The last video I said I was gonna make a video about a guy that's trying to buy my account. If that's still the case, I'm not selling my account. I don't know why people always they read the title and they, they read like setting account and they come in this stupid motherfucking shit. This dumb fucking question. Can I have one? Can I have one? No, you little piece of sh No, you cannot have an account. There's no account to give away. There's nothing being sold. Why don't you little sh just watch the video in the first place? It's just the questions. Just the questions. Let's throw that away and let's talk about the second point that is attraction griefing. A little Uo attraction griefing Concordia. So a lot of times I read this in my comments from deluded attraction members. Concordia is garbage. Attraction is the number one clan. Here's a video that basically proves both these fucking facts wrong. In the background you will see our clan just casually locking Gellibron away and casually locking Eunuch 6 away. There you go. That's how simple it is. Okay. And that is what happens all the fucking time. All the fucking time. And that is why attraction is so full of head rap in the first place. This is me breaking it down for you. This is why they grieved Lil Yu or Big Yu is old in the first place. And that is also why they always do have this really weird behavior. It is greed. It is jealousy. It is hatred. Built on these two things. Jealousy and greed. Right? They call Concordia greedy for being the better clan for locking all the bosses. They call Concordia greedy for having all the good gear. That's why again we always lock all the bosses. Okay? Then they spread these rumors around. They try to make people insecure and kind of like drag them down with them. Concordia is like this private exclusive jet that's flying high and attraction in this case is like the little missile coming from like a kind of like terrorist organization-esque thing from the ground that tries to, to crash this fucking super jet and drag all the people into their fucking death. And that is what they're trying to do in a really me metaphorical way, really overly exaggerated, but that's how it is. They are the sinking ship and they're trying to get as many people from the upper decks to, to get to the downer decks to drown. That, that's how this is. That's just how this is. And you can just tell that they're really, this is really like, I, I don't want to really want to say it, but it's, it's just disgusting behavior. The way that they try to insecure or make little Hugo insecure by, by telling him that Concordia members don't like him and uh, all that other garbage and the scar is selling drops. Here's, here's two things, okay? Let's just get these and prove them wrong again. Let's get them out of the way right there, okay? Scar sells drops. That's the first thing that people always say about Mr. Scar, the bad Mr. Scar. Punk man, bad Mr. Scar, bad chief. This is completely proving the opposite, okay? Two examples. Number one, if Mr. Scar was set a single drop, let's take a gilly blade, right? A worthless, shitty ass gilly blade as an example. The Dark Blade, nobody likes, nobody cares about these items anymore. So let's say this was just to go from our bank to the auction house. And it's being sold on the second account, nobody can connect it back to Scar, right? It's sold. But the moment it disappears from the bank and the bankers find out it is gone, they'll be questioning the only bankers around which have access to these accounts. In this case most likely be a rogue banker and Mr. Scar. And if the rogue banker didn't take it, it's kind of obvious that Mr. Scar would have taken that blade, right? And then a lot of drama would go down and the clan would die. And, but, but he, hey, 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 let, let's just stop this here. It isn't the case, Concordia is still around, it never happened, and it most likely never will happen as well. This is just so fucking stupid, like why would anybody in Concordia that made it to the rank of Banker, General, Guardian or Chieftain would ever fucking steal from the clan? There's nothing to gain from that, and the moment you understand that, 
right? The moment you understand that playing the game is not about the game itself, but about the community you build up, your clan which likes you and trusts you, that moment gear becomes nothing, gold becomes nothing, so you don't really care about that anymore. Look, I run around with what, 300k in my backpack right now? Dude, I don't care, I would just give these fucking 300k to a clan that's in need, I don't really care about money anymore, it's just fucking items on the game. There's more than items on the game, there's a community behind that which I like to support and everybody else in my clan likes to support the community and be there with the community, with the clan, right? That is just how it is. Second example of Mrs. Scar not being a greedy asshole, which I said this before, okay, I said this before. I can actually bring two examples here. Number one, maybe you guys know Mongo on our server. Mongo, back in the days when Concordia was pretty new around, Mongo was to get his uh, DL weapons and he said, no, I don't want them, give them to somebody else. So Mr. Sky had to force Mongo to take the weapons. Long story short, there you go. Second example is Mr. Scar gave up his BT helm, which is really OP item. Anybody likes that shit, I would like to have one of those one day myself. But that's in the far future. So Mr. Scar took his BT helm off and gave it to a clanny, so the clanny can run around with the full dodge school aura when we didn't have enough purists to gear that person the dodge school hat. Would a greedy chief do that? No, a third fucking example about the first dagger from Dihoto which dropped on our server, done. The first fucking dagger. Mr. Scar as Concordia's poster boy said no I don't want it, Mongo can have it, he can have it, he deserves it more than me and he just gave it to Mongo. Would a greedy chief do that? No they would not. Mr. Scar openly invites a lot of people to come to Dawn and experience the Concordia experience. Would a greedy person do that? No they would not. They would not. Mr. Scar is a busy man in real life, right? He's a busy man, he works, he's a businessman himself, he works just as much as I do, as much as you do, as much as anybody else does, but he still takes the time for his clan. Would a bad person do that? No, they would not. Do you think Mr. Scar cares for gold or in-game items? If yes, you are fucking mistaken. You're just deluded as well as the rest of attractions people that always comment this under my videos. You are delusional. You fucking deluded. Next point, okay? Let's just talk about the argument of Concordia being so garbage compared to attraction. Because <laughs> I don't know who tells you these fucking delusional stories, but it makes no sense. Here, check this out. Check this out. If attraction was so good, why is Concordia still locking all the bosses? Why is Concordia still getting all the cool drops? Why? It's just because the statement of attraction being the best is completely false. It is completely bullshit. It's made up garbage. It is the same thing which I told you guys before. They're trying to get you on board of their sinking fucking boat. And once you're on board of that, there's no going back. There's no going back. You're just gonna sink and you're not gonna get far in this game. This is just how it is. In attraction, you will never get far on Celtic Heroes. That is what drives this clan mad and that is what makes people that join this clan fucking mad and that makes them hate Concordia. And they most likely, not all of them, some we kicked for bad behavior, but again, they kind of did it themselves. Like people that leave Concordia or get kicked, you can only blame these people for their own behavior. And that's what made them or made them get into attraction, right? That is like the place of all the scumbags of the server to be around. And if you wanna join that, if you wanna join that clan, do it. So be it. Do what you want. I'm not telling you who, what clan to join. I'm not your fucking dad. I don't give a fuck what clan you join. Concord is running, and even if five people left right now and joined attraction. If they were to happen, Concordia would not die or would not really take advantage of it. Because Concordia's core, and that is what I want people to understand, is strong as fuck. You cannot break that core. We had one core element, just an example. I'm just gonna name and shame you, Sweet Bob Psycho. I like her, she was cool, she was really cool. We had some cool chats, and I all like to support her from the start when she got in the clan. I was like, yo, can I power level you? Can I help you out? Because she seemed like a fucking nice person, right? 
but she was like nope and fucked us all in the end she just left the clan sold her account sold all her gear to, to attraction and people fuck fuck us like this there's another fucking fool but bg's gone but do we really care well our oh, feelings got hurt but the clan is not gonna take any damage from that let's just be honest concord is not taking any hits from that shit we had a really good rogue and a good friend of mine uh, who most likely quit the game for some time now and we had him leaving uh, last year as well right because busy with work and stuff and nobody really had any loss but maybe a friend the clan doesn't really mind it is not getting damaged sure it sucks to lose friends it sucks to lose them they're not dead anyways so they will most likely return at some point but it sucks not having them around but is it damaging the clan no it's not and both these players i just named were most deeply in the car they were integrated into that system right but we didn't take any damage and the last thing i really want to say here is guys if you get and i got these messages myself if you are in concordia and you get these messages from attraction like yo they only use you for youtube support uh you don't work you just get gear for free and if they be like yo they don't really like you just join attraction i mean attraction fucking tried to buy me out they fucking offered me 50 chests to join their stupid little clan isn't that fucking ridiculous i think it's fucking ridiculous and i fucking loved my ass about this shit so often and last thing last thing to talk to you about i mean i troll these guys quite often i'm just being honest i troll these guys with some little puns in any video i make often but if they are coming to you and they offer you basically you you get the general rank you hunt the chest just give us this, give us this gear, and you do it, you're just fucking stupid. Makes no sense. Nobody, nobody will ever fall for this unless they have an IQ equivalent to the one of a, what, a fucking squirrel? Not even a squirrel, man. Or a fucking, a fucking mice, maybe. So, guys, just don't fall for the attraction trap. It's gonna completely ruin your game efforts. It's gonna bring you down. Don't do it. It is stupid as fuck. Alright, so now watch this video of me killing Gellibron with the boys, uh, locking Gellibron with the boys, um, messing up my hot swaps, and yeah, I was talking the whole time, but I deleted that because I want to make this a little bit more structured, so I'm well thought before recording this video. Leave a like, comment down below if you want to, if not, then not, and uh, please, if you are from Attraction and you watched to this part, leave a mean ass comment for me to laugh down below as well. See you guys in the next one. Wait, we even locked this shit, man. Even this shit we locked. People, people really are like, yo, Concordia's trash, attraction is better. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. <laughs> Fucking bullshit, dude. Don't take it so serious. Everything in life is a love story. Don't take it so serious. It shouldn't be so scary. It's a fairy tale. Don't take it so serious